click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, previously we have seen the analysis of heat conduction without heat generation in cylinder. Now in this topic, let us consider the analysis with heat generation in case of cylinders. Here we have considered internal heat generation in cylinders. Let us consider a cylinder whose radius is capital R. So let me write this is a cylinder whose radius is R and let us say length is L. Let us say the wall temperatures are Tw. Then at the center there is some heat generation is taking place. Let us say Q dash of G is the amount of heat that is generated. Obviously the unit is watt per meter cube because the heat generation is always considered per unit volume. Now let us write down the general equation in case of cylindrical format. So we know that this general equation is we have seen the derivation of this general equation for the polar coordinates. Now let us deduce this general equation to a simplified equation and let us start solving that equation for a given case. For deducing this equation, the assumptions that need to be considered, first one is one dimensional heat transfer that is only radial. So this will obviously negate the second and third term. Second one is let us say steady state heat transfer this will cancel out the dot t by dot t term and third one is k is constant. One more thing that we need to consider that is if I have given at this point the temperature is Tw then at any given section at L equal to any given length the value is always Tw. So temperature is constant in any given cross section. With these many assumptions, I can simplify this equation as 1 upon r dou by dou r r dou t by dou r plus q dash of g upon k equal to 0. Now we must integrate this equation twice to get the temperature profile. So if I integrate above equation we can have this as so this was my previous equation i have simply rearranged the terms whatever r was here i have taken to the other side now if i integrate this equation i can write this as r dou t by dou r now this will become r square by 2 plus some constant c1. If I take this r to the other side, I can write this equation as dt by dr minus q dash of g upon k r by 2 c1 by r. So again if I integrate, then I can write this as temperature profile of r is equal to minus q dash of g upon 2k r square by 2 plus c1 the integral of 1 upon r is ln of r plus c. Now this is the temperature profile that we have got. Now to solve this temperature profile we need to find out the value of c1 and c2. To find the value of c1 and c2 there are two boundary conditions or there are two cases so let me write those case. First case is when the boundary condition that is written is like this at r equal to 0 the dt by dx is 0. So the first boundary condition is when r equal to 0 I have got the temperature maximum that is the T max. So at this point the dt by dx is 0. If I want to join these three temperature you can see that this temperature is a function of r square. So we can say that my temperature profile is a quadratic in nature. So I must join this with the curves. 
So now this is the maximum temperature. So obviously, if I try to draw a slope at this point, the slope will be horizontal. So the dt by dx value will be zero in this case. So that is my first boundary condition that at r equal to zero, dt by dx is zero. And the second boundary condition is at r equal to capital R, the value of temperature is Tw. At r equal to capital R, the value of temperature is Tw. So this is my first case. The second case will be the first boundary condition will remain at its, as it is. That is at r equal to zero, dt by dx is zero. But at r equal to capital R, now here previously we had considered constant temperature. So this was the case of constant temperature. Now here the case is different. Here we have to consider that there is a convection at the outer surface of the cylinder. So my boundary condition will become the heat that is conducted is same as the heat that is convected. So that is Q dash conducted is same as Q dash convected. So mathematically I can write this as minus K A dt by dx dt by dr at r equal to capital R is equal to h a t of r minus t infinity at r equal to capital R. So this will be my condition. So let us start solving these two cases one by one. So let us consider the first case at r equal to 0 the dt by dr is 0. Before this, let me write down the previous equation. So if I substitute this boundary condition in this equation, I can write or before substituting this, we need to differentiate this equation. So dt by dr will be. So again, if I substitute everything, I can get the value of C1 as 0. See here dt by dx is 0. So this term will be 0. This is 0. I will take this r to the other side. So the only term that is left is C1 and all the rest of the terms have become 0. So C1 must be 0. And the second boundary condition is at r equal to capital R, the value of T is Tw. So I will put this Tw is equal to minus Q dash of G upon 4K capital R square plus C1 becomes 0 plus C2. So from this the value of C2 I can write as Tw plus Q dash of G upon 4K. So this is the value of C1 and C2 that we have got. Now let us put the value of C1 and C2 in this equation. So T of R is equal to C2 we have got this Tw plus Q dash of G upon 4K. This R square is there minus this small R square. And this C1 is 0. So this is the temperature profile that we have. Now to find the T max, I will again differentiate this. So dt by dx dr is equal to we will get this as minus q dash of g upon 4k into 2r. So if I substitute to 0 then the value of r must be 0. So we can say that T max lies at r equal to 0. So if I put the r equal to 0 in this equation I shall get the T max. So the T max is nothing but Tw plus q dash of g upon 4k r square. So this is how we can solve the first case. Now let us go for the second case. My boundary conditions are at r equal to 0, dt by dr is equal to 0. So again as we have seen previously that let me write down the equation first. So in the second case, this is the equation that for which we need to find out the value of C1 and C2. The boundary condition that we need to consider for the second case is the first boundary condition is same that is at r equal to 0 dt by dr is 0 and we have seen previously with this boundary condition we are getting C1 as 0. 
Now, the second boundary condition is very interesting. That is at R equal to capital R, I can write that minus K A dt by dr at r equal to capital r is equal to h a t minus t infinity at r equal to capital r so before this we must find out the value of dt by dr which we had found out previously it is minus q dash of g upon 2k into r plus c1 by r so i will substitute this value here the value of c1 is already 0 so this term is vanish minus k a the dt by dr at r equal to capital r so this is minus q dash of g upon 2k is equal to h a now this this is t of r now t of r is the same this term minus q dash of g upon 4k now instead of small r i will write this as capital r square because we are writing this for r equal to capital r plus c1 that is zero we have found this plus c2 is what we need to find out so obviously here the area is the surface area in both the cases which we can cancel out this a k k also gets vanished and minus n also can be cancelled out so we are left with q dash of g into r upon 2 h is equal to now here we have got minus q dash of g upon 4 k into r square plus c2 so the value of c2 is q dash of g upon 4 k r square plus q dash of g upon 2 h r now if I substitute these two values of C1 and C2 in this main equation, then my temperature profile will become something like this. The C1 is 0 and C2 is what we are going to substitute at this. So we can write this as Q dash of G upon 2A into R. So I am writing the first term plus the second term is Q dash of G upon 4K. Here there is a capital R square and here there is a minus small r square. So I will club this to write capital R square minus small r square. So finally we get this as our temperature profile. So this is how we can solve these two cases or these two cases of boundary condition and we can get to the temperature distribution in case of internal heat generation in cylinders. That is it in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda. Subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.